everyone and welcome back. My name is Greg Furman and this is the Forex Weekly Outlook for the week of April the 24th, 2017. Now to get started this week we're going to begin where we always do with the US dollar index. Our key vantage point levels coming in at 100.11. You can see that we're holding below that area here. The dollar under a little bit of pressure but the indicators from vantage point are warning that we could see this starting to turn around. Now we have heavy trend line support coming in at or about the 99.20 area. So this is the area to watch on the down side along this lower trend line and then on the upside 100.11. Now again the medium term indicators and shorter term indicators are starting to roll over to the upside. Now with the euro going into the euro this week it's going to be a very very choppy week with the French elections on Sunday evening. So when we look at the euro 1.0668 the vantage point 18 day predicted moving average is the critical level. Our indicators from vantage point are absolutely warning of potential downside risk. Our neural index is turning lower. We can see that our strength indicator is pointing down. The predicted MACD is sideways and our predict predicted RSI at 56.4 also turning sideways here showing a lack of current momentum in the market on this pair. So the French election will be the deciding factor on the next move on the euro. Our upper trend line resistance coming in at 108.35. We could very quickly go to that direction uh, depending on who gets in but we could also come down to the 105 area very quickly or below uh, once again depending who gets in. Now of course US Swiss franc is going to be affected by this election, basically a euro US trade. We can see we have heavy trend line resistance coming in at the 101 area. Our critical vantage point level 99.99. So, right above that parity level, a break of that area should take the pressure off the downside. But right now, we're still looking at potentially further downside. Now, what I like to look at with the vantage point indicators here, just to bring this in so we can show this everybody, to everyone here is looking at our medium term predicted difference versus our long term predicted difference which is basically how vantage point is gauging the overbought and oversold conditions so in this particular case we can see that the medium term strength or uh, basically the strength to the downside is weakening and we're starting to turn back up. So we'll be watching that one very closely but right now it, this pair will take it the lead from Euro US. Now with the British pound US dollar for next week this is a tricky one also here we've had a, 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 a huge bar right here on this particular day. This was after May decided she is going to call an election. So basically if we take this bar out of the mix here that would put Great Britain US probably back down in the 126 area. So again you can see that after that big spike up on the uh, on the election announcement we've done nothing since. We've actually had a series of lower highs since that big move up. Now that doesn't mean the British pound can't can't move lower but once again when we look at that critical the critical vantage point indicators the medium term predicted difference crossing over the long term predicted difference in the opposite direction in which the market's moving is a leading indicator suggesting that this pair potentially is getting ready to move lower so once again I think the Brit the UK the, the British pound will be affected still uh, by that France election now the dollar yen we've pretty much what appears to be a base forming here at the 108 area based on price action however the critical vantage point level coming in at 109.91, 109.19 and 109.04 closing at 109.05 so we're still not above this critical vantage point level if we get into a risk on scenario dollar yen will go flying higher but a risk off scenario a collapse of the euro of the euro currency could very well send the dollar yen considerably lower. Now our medium term predicted difference rising higher but we're lacking momentum. We can see the predicted RSI really struggling here to try and advance higher. It's failed below the 50 level and we're closing the week at 36.6 so a lot of indecision uh, on this particular pair but right now guys we, we're really looking for a sustained break of 109.19 and 109.91 those key vantage point pivot areas. Now as we look at our three main commodity currencies the one a couple of them are of interest for next week US CAD we're coming up to a well-known area of resistance here at 135.23 somewhat of a weaker CPI number out of Canada but not horrible on Friday but again we have to look at this from the perspective that 
essentially your order flow guys are going to be watching these swing highs uh, if we get a sustained break of, of 135 30 136 then us canada could run higher to the most recent highs if we look at that over the last six months or so that's been but you can see we have another very serious area of resistance here at 136 so selling into these two areas is still a reasonable play when we look at the aussie going into for, into that for next week not a whole lot going on with this particular current see here guys so I wouldn't spend a lot of time on this uh, a very defined range right now between 75 70 and the 75 level we've got heavy support sitting down here at 74 80 watch that area very very closely when we look at New Zealand for next week we have heavy heavy resistance at the 70 50 level and it's trapped but we do have a triple EMA cross from vantage point with the critical level of 69 93 69 98 and 75 14 so a slight bullish biased but we really need to break free and clear of this area right here on the 7050 and then you'll see some very good buying opportunity on this particular pair